Okay. Um, my headset's being hell weird. I think it's on its uh, headset is on its way out, guys. What's up, though, guys? Here for part two of Invasion. What's up, Bam? FJ Nation, Slim, Ash, Django, Coden, H, Brett, Matt. Slender, Cue Balls, Mr. Mannix, The Good Lord, Big Work, Brian, Alrighty, well, yeah, this headset, it's, it's pain because I did buy a new headset, but it's not as good as this one. And they don't sell this one anymore. And I, I really liked the, the, the audio quality that this mic has been um, providing. But um, yeah, as Slim just said, the score is currently 6-4. to four. FTU is winning. We do have uh, a few more matches left. It's not set in stone that FTU is going to win. So uh, it's, uh, it's going to be close probably. Actually, I, I, I'm actually really digging how close it's been. Especially since WWE was winning for so long. But uh, going over the matches we had, of course, we had uh, Rey Mysterio defeat Scoobat, which uh, that match is going to be a... We'll have a rematch, but we are still giving um, Rey Mysterio the uh, the point for now. If it ends up being, like, close enough where that match matters, we'll have that be a rematch. But, uh, but anyway, of course, um, Degeneration X, of course, defeated... Um, the uh, bullpen dojo. Montez Ford defeated Paul Justice. The ladies of FTU defeated the ladies of uh, WWE. Uh, Cheyenne Mannix defeated two women. She um, she actually made Raw Women's Champion Bianca Belair submit, which that was actually the biggest threat on the team. Made uh, the Raw Women's Champion tap out. Then there was a, uh, a double count out with uh, Alexa Bliss. Um, Sophia Balmer eliminated Bailey, and um, Sarah Lynn uh, defeated Sasha Banks. Uh, Kang squashed Samoa Joe in Kang's one-on-one -on -one debut. Uh, the Arisen got defeated by Judgment Day, which uh, appears, appears to be uh, the Arisen's last match. We apparently um, we uh, we did have that tag team circuit going, and the Arisen was actually going to be one of the. Um, main parts of it, which kind of throw a wrench in my plans for the tag team circuit. Yeah, the tag team circuit is probably going to be a lot more simple now, but um, that is still going on. The uh, The Golden Hearts, uh, of course, won their match. So they're, the, the Golden Hearts, when they if, if they win their next match, they're getting a tag title shot. But uh, we're going to have to see who they're going to face. But, um, of course, Gothopotamus won her second 30-woman rumble in her career, which is just outstanding. Won the Invasion Rumble and the um, China Challenge Rumble at WrestleMania. Slim defeated the Miz. And then he got uh, left laying after a kick between the legs. Jared Crow and Papa Shango tore the house down. Crow did get the win. But th th this match was insane. It was like, I want to say it was like over 15 minutes. I don't know. Flashbang did defeat The Undertaker after not one but two Halos. Flashbang did get a tombstone, but he got saved by a rope break. But um, that is uh, pretty much the summary for Invasion so far. We are heading toward the Men's Rumble. Um, I don't know if the lineup um, exactly, I mean, I mean the, the order entry exactly matches what it was last time. The first two entrants were the same, though. Um, I am going to be, uh, okay, Thomas, I hope you don't miss it either. Um, I'm going to let the entrances play out though, just for, uh, streaming purposes and stuff. Um, it might not be the same entrance anyway, so Mad Mike, thanks for the follow. How you doing, buddy? Uh, I think I might miss some people popping in and saying what's up too. Did I? Yeah, I think I said what's up, there, everybody. 
Welcome in, Mad Mike. Don't be cheap bang this time. Well, I mean, I had to find a way to make the stream crash. You can't see that I made Flashbang 100 overall, and Undertaker was just a 30. Um, <laughs> Actually, uh, in every match, um, people have uh, been tied stat-wise. The only match type that um, hasn't had exactly the same stats is the Invasion Rumbles, which... Um, um, which all of the competitors have an 85 overall, and that goes for the men's and women's divisions. So even the women's division, that's also how Maurice was doing so well, because I think her overall is like a, like a 78 or something normally. But she was dominating, because, I mean, she, she was an average 85. She was, she, I think she eliminated like three or four women. It was pretty ridiculous. But uh, we are ready to start this off. I think we know who the uh, first two entities are going to be. But uh, just to reiterate... Um, the F2 competitors do gain FC for eliminating WD, WD competitors, even if they don't win the Rumble. In a, any other match at Invasion, if the person does not win the match, they get zero FC no matter what. But uh, the Invasion Rumble is special that way. If you eliminate a WWE competitor, you get one FC regardless of uh, who wins. Um, the winner, of course, gets an additional three FC. <laughs> yeah, I, I did... Uh, I do uh, notice that his name does say that, Zach. Thank you. What's up, Hutchie? How's it going, buddy? Good old Hutchie. I'm just being a jerk to Hutchie. Hutchie's my buddy, though. We hang out. <laughs> All righty. Best of luck to everyone. Let's get another win for FTU. I think we are, we need, we need like two more wins to seal this. Uh, it should be on legendary, Coden. Alrighty, best of luck everyone. WWE versus FTU. The following contest is the Royal Rumble match. The two superstars that drew number one and number two will start in the ring at the same time. Other superstars will join in the order that they drew. This will continue until all 30 superstars have entered the ring. Eliminations occur when a superstar is thrown over the top rope with both feet landing on the floor. The last superstar in the ring will be declared the Royal Rumble winner and go on to face the champion of their choice at WrestleMania!
match has such a rich history, but only a few dozen winners All right, here we go. Alex Kidd and AJ Styles starting this off. AJ Styles with a, a burning hammer as a regular move like a noob. Just kidding. And another one. That's how these WWE guys wrestle, though. They got no class. Number three, Goldberg. Both AJ Styles and Goldberg have actually had a lot of history in FTU. A low blow. And people are in this. This is a 30-man rumble hazard. But uh, if you eliminate either Goldberg or AJ Styles by yourself, you're going to get uh, one FC per elimination. Um, eliminating an FTU competitor does not get any FC. Number four, Eddie Guerrero. Are, is this the same entry number so far? Well, the way that this Rumble is set up, though, Hazard, is um, you can still get more FC with a, a low number than you can at a higher one. So it um, you may get the biggest reward out of this still. Alex Kidd's been busted open, I think. Yeah, he has. Number five, Edge. Yeah, I don't remember this order, but as, uh, Brett said it's the same order, so I'm going to go ahead and say it's the same order. <clears throat> well, Alex Kidd uh, has already heard over there. Goldberg was stomping his head in. Well, thanks for watching from your film, Bimu Chan. Always glad to have him here. We need to get some F2 guys in there. Number six, Drew McIntyre. It's actually kind of good for Alex Kidd, though, because if he eliminates anybody right now, he'll get one FC. Well, thanks, Brett. Appreciate you doing that still, buddy. You meant to vote for F2? Sure, you did. Just kidding. I hope AJ Styles does as well as he did last time. That's one of the main things I remember happened was AJ did very well. Number seven, Braun Strowman, the biggest competitor in this match. No eliminations yet. Come on, kid, get someone out. Oh, my God. Just, did McIntyre get him? McIntyre eliminates Eddie Guerrero. Drew McIntyre eliminates Eddie Guerrero, the first elimination here. WWE guy eliminates another WWE guy. Alex Kidd hanging on. Looked like Edge was trying to get Strowman out. Number eight, JMJ, man who's won two 30-man rumbles in his career. Back to back, he won um, Andre the Giant Memorial Rumbles at WrestleMania. JMJ's actually only been on the roster for um, a couple years, but he's won, uh, I think, four annual events already, which is insane for that amount of time on the roster. Uh, well, Alex Kidd eliminated by Braun Strowman. Alex Kidd did well uh, getting a, a good distance in. He did, didn't get any eliminations, though. Number nine is Bam, who uh, did suffer a loss from Kevin Owens on ignition. And AJ Styles eliminated by JMJ. The first two competitors to enter this Rumble have been eliminated. JMJ is taunting.
There's no shame in being eliminated by Braun Strowman. Number 10, Q Money. Former hardcore champion. Oh my god. Yeah, someone needs to get Braun out. I think last time AJ Styles eliminated Braun too, which just showed how good AJ did last time. Oh, Goldberg trying to get out Bam. Bam in trouble. I think JMJ just saved Bam. That's pretty awesome. It looked like Bam was going out. Number 11, Hulk Hogan. Oh, double team on McIntyre. McIntyre's get busted open. Ring is filling up here. Edge was just eliminated? Who just eliminated Edge? Was that Strowman? That was Hogan. Hogan eliminated Edge. I watched on the replay. Yeah, Slim got it. Q money in trouble. Uh oh, look at JMJ. Oh my god. Oh my god, JMJ. He saved Bam earlier, but now he power bombs him to the outside and Q money eliminated by Goldberg right afterwards. I think power slam from Strowman. What a rumble. That was like an awesome moment for a clip, too. My God. Edge is on the treadmill. He, uh, he just lost the rumble and he needs to get in better shape. Just kidding. Yeah, everyone's been doing that at Invasion. You'll see uh, probably another 10 people doing that in this, this match before it's over. Number 12, Stone Cold Steve Austin. The only uh, competitor in this whole match to win three Rumbles, right? Oh, JMJ just eliminated Braun Strowman. How good is JMJ doing here tonight? I think it's three eliminations for JMJ now. Number 13, Big E. Things WWE will win. Looks like um, we had a pretty even amount of bets here. Oh my god, Biggie just got into the ring. And look at JMJ. Four eliminations for JMJ. Cryogenics, thanks for the follow. How you doing, buddy? Number 14, Big Cheese. Still pretty new to the roster. Ready to make a name for himself. Curb stomp on Austin. JMJ is like 2K22's Mad Cap Thulu in the Rumble, man. Thomas with the seven months. Thanks, buddy. Been, been glad to have you here for those seven months, man. Number 15, former roulette champion Josh Evans. 
Much appreciated, though, Thomas. Thomas is a cool guy. Oh. Been here longer than that. Ah. Time flies when you're having fun. Number 16, Brian Hardake. Brian Hardake. Debuting some new attire. And, uh,. Brian Hardake did have that big win on Warzone, that tag team circuit. Uh, JMJ in trouble. JMJ in trouble. Stone Cold Steve Austin just eliminated JMJ. Huge elimination. JMJ did so well. That damn Texas rattlesnake. McIntyre trying to get Hogan out. And Goldberg in trouble. Goldberg in trouble. Big Cheese eliminates Bill Goldberg. That is awesome. That's the highlight of uh, Big Cheese's career so far. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and say that was Josh Evans who got that elimination. Drew McIntyre eliminated by Josh Evans. But Stone Cold Steve Austin power bombs Josh Evans to the outside. Austin eliminates another FTU competitor. Stone Cold eliminates Josh Evans. Oh, look at this. That little noggin knocker. Got two WWE guys, two FTU guys. Brian Hardick hanging on. Brian Hardick hanging on. Hogan and Austin. Number 17, Django Friedman. Django's ready. Django trying to get out. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Oh, no. Oh, now goes Django. Stone Cold Steve Austin with another elim elimination. I can't believe he's doing that well. Django is a badass, and Stone Cold still got one over on him. Killed by Robert. Thanks for the follow. How you doing, buddy? Sorry, Django. I, I feel bad, man. Stone Cold needs to get thrown out, dude. Number 18, Bobby Lashley. The Almighty. <laughs> Top five wrestlers? Ah, that's too hard. Number 19, TJ Frost. Former hardcore champion. Been a... Big double duty. Who's doing double duty? Oh, he is the hardcore champion, isn't he? I forgot he is the hardcore champion. My bad. Who's doing double duty? Well, super kick. Out goes Big Cheese. Big Cheese eliminated by Brian Hardick. Oh, Bimu Chan's facing Bobby Lashley. Hogan and Austin have been in for a long time. They need to both get eliminated.
Number 21, TJ Ward. Former, former roulette champion, former United States champion. My God, Frost, that knee to the face to Austin. Can Frost be the man to get Stone Cold out? I think Lashley's just chilling, just sitting over there being almighty. Oh my god, Austin was going for another elimination. Lashley may have just saved Frost. Hogan in trouble. Number 22, Vincent Green, TJ Ward's partner in the Immortals Club. Oh, Stone Cold pile driver. Austin has four eliminations right now, right? Or is that five? I don't, I don't know how many he has. The ring is, uh... The ring is full. We're going to need an elimination here. And Brian Hardick in trouble. Brian Hardick in trouble. Brian Hardick trying to hang on. His three, okay. Apparently get ahead, get ahead of myself. Bobby Lashley almost got Austin out. Austin back in. What a freaking rumble, man. Oh, the power. Of Lashley just slamming Frost. Stone Cold just got busted open by Hogan, right? I didn't even see when Ghost Edwards came in. Running power slam on Brian Hardick. Oh, Austin eliminates Hulk Hogan. That didn't work for him, brother. That's four elimination for Stone Cold Steve Austin now. WrestleMania, who's your dream match? Uh, I guess mine would probably be the match I just had, which was uh, against The Undertaker. Brian Hardake almost eliminated. He's back in, hanging on. Famous sir on Ghost Edwards. And the frostbite on TJ Ward. What a freaking rumble, man. He's got that frostbite on Ward. He's wrenching away. The longer he stays in it, the longer he's going to be hurt. But there's no submission here. Got to get him over the top rope. Well, see if that did enough damage to Ward. I think it did. He went up with ease. TJ Frost eliminates TJ Ward. Now going for uh, Ward's partner, Vincent Green. Number 23 is Slender. And oh my God, Stone Cold eliminated by Ghost Edward. Ghost Edwards. Uh, Slender, of course, won the last Rumble he was in. It's 
Spanish fly on Slender. Come on, guys, get out Bobby Lashley. Let's get another dub for FTU. What's up, Fox Queen? How you doing? Number 24, John Cena. Where is he? Is he... Who's, who's green attacking? Oh. Ghost Edwards. Who did he just get out? Slender? Yeah, he got out Slender. <laughs> Cena in trouble. Number 25, Brett the Hitman Hart. It's been by Brian Hartig. I don't think I've seen that movie before. Vincent Green in trouble. Vincent Green in trouble. And Brian Hardake eliminates Vincent Green. Getting down. Getting down to the end here, you guys. I'm honestly not sure who has how many left. I feel like FTU's had more people come out. Bret Hart just eliminated Ghost Edwards. Ryan Hardick trying to get out TJ Frost. And John Cena helps. John Cena helping. TJ Frost has been eliminated. Well, Brian Hardick is in here with three WWE guys. Can be joined by Kino Sugiyami though. Number 26. Kino taking out the Almighty immediately. Well. I'm not sure I like uh, FTU's chances in this match anymore. A little Irish curse backbreaker to John Cena. Up, up. Brian Hardick still hanging on. But Kino in trouble. Kino in trouble. Kino still hanging on. Can Keno get back in the ring? Fighting off Lashley. Yeah, Hardake's doing pretty well. Big kick to the face of Cena. Number 27. Dave Batista. Two-time Rumble winner for the WWE. Although both of those rumbles, he came in at number 28. And he had the same luck with 27. <laughs> How the hell does he always get high in numbers? <laughs> yeah, we got a lot of WWE guys in the ring, guys. Number 28, Brock Lesnar. Well, Bret Hart eliminated by Brian Hardake. That is huge. How good is Brian doing? Cena trying to get out Brian. Brian hanging on. Oh my God. Number 29, Randy Orton, two-time Rumble winner. We have four WWE guys in this match have, that have won multiple Rumbles in the WWE. Brock Lesnar, Batista, Cena, and Orton all have won two Rumbles. And Batista eliminates Kino Tsuguyami. He 
Yeah, this isn't looking good for FTU anymore. Come on, Brian Hardake. We, we need an FTU guy to be next, otherwise we lost this. I mean, Brian's been in so long, I, I can't... Oh, Lesnar eliminated Bobby Lashley. Bo uh, Brock Lesnar eliminated Bobby Lashley there. Come on, Brian Hardake, we need this. We need to stay in the lead here. Bad time to taunt, though. Oh, I guess it worked out for him. Looked like Lesnar was about to rip his throat out. Oh, Brian Hardake! No! Batista! Eliminates Brian Hardake. What the hell was that? Well, we need an FTU guy. We need an FTU guy to be number 30. Who's left? Who is left? Andrew Urock. Number 30. Andrew Urock is injured right now, too. He actually suffered a concussion on Warzone in that tag team uh, elimination match. Very new to the roster. <laughs> Against four WWE guys who have all won two Rumbles in their career. Come on, Andrew. Angle slam on Batista. Andrew, just go, go hang out in the corner or something. Let them let them settle this. A nice counter from Andrew. Uh, Brock Lesnar. Oh my God. Andrew hanging on. Andrew hanging on. Come on, Andrew. The FT Universe is needing you to get the dub here. Uh, Brock Lesnar has John Cena. Another eliminate, elimination for Brock Lesnar. We're down to the final four here. Rock just laid out Brock Lesnar there. It's a pretty nasty landing for Lesnar, too. Randy Orton just beating the hell out of Dave Batista. Randy Orton just tossing Andrew Urock. It's looking like WWE is going to get the win here, but we still have hope. My God. We still have hope. And then Lesnar just effortlessly clubs Andrew Urock on the side of the head. Can Andrew get out the beast? Can Andrew get out the beast? Ah. Oh, Batista's got busted open from that knee drop. And Orton in trouble. Orton eliminated by Batista. We are down to the final three. Look at this. Look at this. Brock Lesnar eliminated by Andrew Urock. We are down to the last two men here. One from WWE, one from FTU. Andrew Urock could do it. Andrew Urock could do it. I don't care he's getting slammed by Batista right now. He could do it still. Oh, big body splash. Well, Batista, I think he was looking for a Batista bomb. Oh, 
Sidewalk slam. Oh boy. Oh boy, Andrew Rock in trouble here. The thunderous Batista bomb on Andrew Urock. Batista now. Getting ready to toss out Andrew Urock. And it's over. Batista with the win. Point on the board. FTU still winning 6 to 5. Well, to uh, the people that got eliminations on WWE, guys, WWE and Batista did get the win. We, uh, I, I definitely know a few people are getting FC in that match, though. But, um, yeah, that was actually a pretty awesome ending, though. Uh, still props to all our FTU guys. All right, moving right along, though. We, uh, FTU is still winning six to five. It, we got to keep the lead here. The people's champ, The Rock, one on one with FTU's world heavyweight champion, Cluck. Place your bets here, folks. We need this win to stay in the lead.
Here we go. The Rock one on one with the Cluckster. Well, didn't get all of it. Been an amazing pay-per-view. Very uh, unfortunate that it wasn't able to be done in all one stream, but six to five, F2 in the lead. Can our world heavyweight champion put down the people's champion? Uh, look at this. Went for a DDT, didn't get it. Up, clock. It dropping the rock down hard. Oh my god. Cluck with the people's elbow to the rock. Count it, ref. It the rock kicks up. And neck breaker. Up, oh, spine buster, spine buster on Cluck. Going for the cover here. Oh boy, the Rock taking off the elbow pad to show Cluck how it's done. He did it backwards. We did it with the wrong elbow. <laughs> <laughs> he did it with the wrong elbow. People's elbow connects to Cluck. Oh my god. They've both delivered the people's elbow. Actually, I think Cluck did it right, not the rock. Well, Cluck didn't run to both to the, both sets of ropes though. Jesus, Phoenix. <laughs> oh, nice move by Cluck there. That was pretty awesome. Oh my god. He's doing it again. No, no. Oh my god, he misses this time. The Rock with the move belly to belly. No, oh, leg sweep. Hit DDT. Leg is hooked here. <laughs> What's up, Darkness? How's it going, buddy? JMJ did pretty awesome uh, in the last match, buddy. Well, Cluck going up top. He did take a little bit too long, though. It double axing. Oh, the Rock caught him. The Rock caught him. That was weird. Backbreaker, though. Elbow drop on Cluck. Will that do it? Will that do it? Oh my god, how close was that? Well, setting him up. The stalking Cluck here. And Cluck dodges. That would have put Cluck away, I believe. But it's planted again. Cluck in control. Oh boy. Cluck 
A lot going up top again. The flying headbutt connects to the rock. Leg is hooked. One, two. Oh my God, he kicked up. How the hell did he still kick up? Leg drop. Stay on him, Cluck. Well, take him to the outside to do some more damage. I'm not sure I approve of this, though. I, I think he actually should have kept him in there and tried to do another big move to try to finish him off. Oh, wow. How close was that? I did not think it was going to be that close at all. Well, going up again. You got to believe he's going for that flying headbutt again. And he, oh my god, he moved this time. The Rock scouted it. The Rock scouted it. That may have been Cluck's last chance. I'm nervous. Oh no, he was going for the sharpshooter. The Rock had been go, going for the sharpshooter there. What a freaking iconic match. This is awesome. <laughs> Cluck going up again. Can he hit it? Going for something else this time. Double axe handle just busted open the rock. It's immediately a lot of blood out of the left side of his head. And the leg drop again. Will that do it? Will the leg drop be enough to put the rock down? Oh my god. What will it take? Cluck going up again. The flying headbutt misses again. The rock counters again. He got him. Rock bottom. Rock bottom to Cluck. Leg is hooked. Leg is hooked. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Cluck still kicked up. It did take a moment for the ref to get into position, but Cluck still kicked up after the rock bottom. Just hammered away on that... The wound uh, on the head of the rock. And he got him. Cluck defeats the rock. FTU is winning seven to five now. Alrighty, well, 
Cluck, our World Heavyweight Champion, representing properly, defeating the Rock, one-on-one, -on -one. moving right along though, the Queen of WWE, Charlotte Flair, one-on-one -on -one with our reigning North American Champion and one half of our Women's Tag Team Champions, Ashley Mannix. This is actually a two out of three falls match, but uh, each fall doesn't count for anything. You'd, um, the uh, the full match will count as the win, and um, and if Ashley Mannix wins, of course, she will be getting three FC for this too. But hopefully, Ashley Mannix can get another win. I think uh, if Ashley Mannix wins this, I think uh, FTU did win Invasion, so uh, we we just need one more win. We have three chances to get one more win, so Ashley could win it all for us right here, right now. All righty, place your bets.
All right, here we go. Man, next big bulldog to start this off. Already going up top. That's where Ashley Maddox is known to be the most dangerous. And she just psyched her out. She landed on her feet. She's good. Oh, this time she didn't. Oh, big suplex. The uh, women of FTU have been doing amazing. They've um, completely shut out the women of WWE so far. This is going to be a very tough task still. Charlotte Flair is, uh, is an absolute reason that Ashley Mannix is going one-on-one -on -one with her. And look at this. Snap suplex on the floor. Flair sent to the steel steps. I miss when the steel steps would actually get launched. Just throwing around Charlotte Flair. This is two out of three falls, but I hope uh, hope we don't have a count on fall. Come on, get her back in the ring. Oh my god. Well, that suicide dive did not connect. Manning's having a bit of trouble connecting with her high flying moves tonight. She was just doing a tribute to Lita. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's terrible. Paying homage to Brett Storm. I think me and Brett made the same joke, just uh, different person. Neckbreaker. Biggie impersonation. Well, the ref's about to be at a seven count. Let's get back in the ring here. Oh, oh my god, she got that one. Big clothesline to the back of the head of Flair. Um, one of the things actually I was able to change with um, with the stream crash was this. I didn't have a, a two out of three falls set up to just be a, a standard normal style match. Small package here. Shoulders down. Almost, almost got her there. It was almost the first fall. But um, I only had a two out of three falls set for extreme rules, which... Um, this one is a normal style match. I hate that it doesn't say two out of three falls in the, the match menu, though, because it makes me nervous like uh, the match didn't save or something. It made me feel so much more comfortable if I was able to see the match type. And there's that shot to the face of Charlotte Flair. She didn't go for the cover yet, surprisingly. She's laid out a lot of women with that, that shin to the face. Look at this. Just throwing Mannix. Exploder suplex. Nice counter to a German suplex. Ashley Mannix up top. Here we go. Inverted Phoenix splash, but she got the knees up. Huge counter for Charlotte. Oh my god, she still got a super kick off of it. Not sure what she was going for, but Charlotte scouted it. Oh no. Oh no. The queen. The figure four into the figure eight. Will she tap? 
The figure eight. As she Mannix. A big drop kick to the side of the head. Still no fall yet. Neither the face of Charlotte. Oh my god, how close was that? Well, that submission hold. Had uh, the sleeper utilizing her legs. And DDT. Mannix doing very well. She needs that exclamation point, though. And elbow drop does not connect either. She's uh, having a hard time with those high-risk moves tonight. Charlotte, look at this. Back suplex off the top rope. Leaving Ashley Mannix in the center of the ring. Will that do it? Shoulders are down here. It Mannix still kicks up. Oh, boy. Oh, she counters the figure eight. She was definitely going for it. Ashley Mannix now. And just drilling Charlotte. Will that do it? Charlotte still kicks up. Not wasting any time, though. It, oh, my God. It's been a great match. I am still nervous, though, that for some reason, maybe the two out of three falls thing didn't stick because I, I really want this to be a two out of three falls, of course, especially now that it's been an amazing match. Well, Ashley Mannix, look at this. She's made a lot of women submit with this already. She, she hasn't been utilizing this long, but she's already proven this to be an absolute match ender. Charlotte Flair in trouble. Charlotte Flair in trouble. Nowhere to go. Nowhere to go. And she submits. Okay, that is the first fall. Ashley Mannix with a point on the board. She needs to beat her one more time. Going up top. And the inverted Phoenix splash, but she got her in the back. Not exactly how she normally hits that. I think Charlotte's out. I think she's out. Leg is hooked. One. Two. Oh, my God. Almost defeated Charlotte. Two straight falls just like that. Charlotte kicked up, though. The inverted Phoenix splash. Landed, like, on the back of Charlotte's head, really. Knee drop on the face. Up, <laughs> oh, Charlotte getting Mannix away from those ropes. Oh, no. She already got this locked in once. The figure four bridging into the figure eight. I don't think she could reach the ropes. I think she's going to have to tap here. She's going to have to tap. Wow. She still didn't tap. Ashley Mannix still fighting out. What's up, bully? How's it going, buddy? It went for that big kick. Didn't get it. Charlotte. Oh, my God. What a kick. That was filthy. Going for the cover. I think she might be out from that. She might be out. Oh, my God. She's still kicked up. Charlotte can't believe it.
Well, the figure four. Into the figure eight. Again, she taps now. For the they took three times applying that submission to make her submit though. And she's gonna stay on that leg of Ashley Mannix. Go for the cover here. Come on, come on, come on, kick up. Oh my god, Charlotte Flair with the win. Well, that was uh, that was an unfortunate ending. Uh, Charlotte Flair did get the win. It's seven to six now, right? Um, ironically, if I, I was worried of uh, of um, the match not being set to two out of three falls, but if it was a standard match, apparently Ashley Mannix would have won. Um, Charlotte Flair keeping WWE in the game. That was an awesome match. Week ending, though, I think we could probably agree to that. She got two falls back-to-back -back like that. Why ain't Solo here? Solo's not family like these four are. Roman, the Usos, and, you know, Roman Reigns, Jimmy Uso, Jay Uso, Sammy Uso. They're all family, you know? Alrighty. The Bloodline. Versus the Blood Hunters. 4v4 elimination. This is not the main event. Blood for blood. Best of luck. To both teams, if the Blood Hunters get the win, FTU wins Invasion. We just need one more win. Come on, guys. Place your bets. This is going to be a war.
It didn't have Rose enter, apparently. I was expecting um, the fourth person to enter separately, which um, is how it happened on 2K19. Well, Brett Storm starting off with um, Jey Uso. Big power bomb there. Brett Storm already going for that elbow. Did not connect, though. Oh, here comes the Emperor. Tagging in Jimmy. Oh, big rocket kick to the face. Madcap's behind me. He's in front of me. What are you talking about? He's right. I see him. Well, the monster versus the head of the table. Best time to tag in Madcap Thulu. Look at this. Well, that was actually pretty good booking right there. Madcap doing well until the interference or the, the illegal man helps the head of the table take advantage. Roman is tossing the monster around here. And the, the whole bloodline here trying to take down the monster. Jay face first on the apron. The Usos, of course, um, now the longest reigning tag team champions in F I mean, in WWE history. Um, they did pass New Day and um, the longest reigning NXT tag champs too, which uh, I, I kind of forgot their name, but. DDT, Sami Zayn has busted open Madcap Thulu. Sami Zayn is no stranger to beating monsters, though. He beat Braun Strowman clean. Clean for the Intercontinental title. Shoulders down here. Uh, not Undisputed Era, no. Um, it was uh, a tag team during... Um, 
when COVID first started. That's why they were able to have the tag titles for so long, because NXT kind of closed down during uh, that time. Uh, probably a cumulative, Brett. A single rain? I, I don't know if a, a single rain. Maybe. Well, elbow drop. Well, I suppose actually back when they were SmackDown tag champs, maybe. Well, Madcap, the coin toss to Roman Reigns. Did not go for the cover, though. I keep on to call Roman Reigns the Emperor. Superman punch to Madcap. As Raw Tag Champs? Really? When, not, when, uh, when the five-star Razors kept challenging you? Well, tags in Brett Storm. Brett Storm did get that win over Roman Reigns on Adrenaline. Yeah, the the, the POC had it had um well spear on Reigns. Will that do it? Will Reigns be the first man eliminated? POC did have the titles for like almost a year, but they they lost it lost them for like um like literally like a day in the middle of the year. <laughs> And the elbow drop did not connect. <clears throat> Shot to the back of the head of Brett Storm. Flashbangs had uh, like two reigns as tag team champions that were like both like over nine months or something like that. Or, well, one was like six months, then one was like nine months. Well, one up top here. Jay Uso and did not get the crossbody. It's Samoan drop. Well, that do it. The Samoan drop on Brett. Brett powers out though. We got the. Um, Jimmy and Kraft brawling out there. Well, Brett Storm has been busted open as per tradition. The bloodline. The double team on Brett Storm. And here comes the monster again. Madcap. Oh my god, Madcap counters. Look at that fisherman suplex. Sammy Uso is definitely going for the blue thunder bomb, but he's getting a coin toss now from the monster. Leg is hooked. I like how Roman doesn't feel the need to be on the apron. He was just kind of just watching, just standing outside. He was going for the coin toss again. All the Blood Brothers are hurt out there. Power bomb. I wish we did keep track of uh, title reigns uh, a bit better. I mean, we, we didn't really keep track of them at all. But uh, we, we kind of didn't know way back then that, you know, we, were, we would need to. And power bomb on Sammy. Or Karana is, uh, what the hell, what, what did Brett just get in for? Just to distract Sammy? Well, that big shot to the face of Sammy. Oh my god, thrust kick to the face. Uh-oh. 
Oh no, Sami Zayn in trouble. The coin toss again. Hooking the leg here. Was Jay just going to watch? And oh my god, big kick to the side of the head. I'm going for the cover again. The Usos, come on. Need to help your teammate. Oh boy. They both like looked away. Which I am still rooting for FTU, but it, it still was one of those things like, help your teammate. He's family. Well, the Emperor was looking to put Sami Zayn away, but... It, German suplex. Yeah, actually, I think of if uh, the Blood Brothers are not the longest reigning, which they probably are, but um, if they're not, it probably would have been Sami and Kevin, probably, but that was only because they didn't defend the titles for like a whole year. Until he finally defended him against Scoobang and lost him. And oh my god, the soul kick on Reigns! That was amazing! The soul kick to Roman Reigns! Reigns is kind of freaking out. Oh. And neckbreaker! No eliminations yet. It madcap. Oh, big shot to the face of Jimmy. <laughs> DDT. Roman's pissed. He got the soul kick. He's livid. He feels like someone else is getting acknowledged as the Emperor. Roman is livid. It, Jay, that super kick. Well, that super kick to the face of Storm, but let him make the tag to Rose. I think Rose is probably one of the freshest people in this match, right? Rose has to be the, the freshest person in this match. Oh, super kick from Jay. I think it is the first time he's been tagged in. So, like, all eight people have been tagged in now. Oh, Rose with a counter. Well, that was interesting. Karana. Tagging the Emperor. Where's Brett? There he is. Going for a and drop. Didn't get it. Brett's like, I'm not going around. <laughs> Can't tell me how to live, ref. Breaker. 
Usos wearing down the Emperor, Brett Storm. Oh, trying to get Jimmy Uso, but the Uso splash. Oh my god! The bloodline almost got the Emperor out. Kratz still in trouble here. Super kick. Will that do it? Oh my god. Jey Uso has been doing so well here tonight. Let Krath go. Those shots to Jay. Still no eliminations. Brett Storm trying to eliminate Jay right now. Oh my god, he almost got him. Jay kicked up by himself. Sammy uh, apparently missed the the breakup attempt. And the spear. The spear to Jay. Brett Storm going up top. And the elbow, he didn't get all of it. He faked him out there. Now he got him. <laughs> that super kick on Brett Storm. Someone needs to help Brett. Someone needs to help Brett Storm. He kicked up still. They just, they just had faith. Like, ah, he'll be fine. He kicked him in the beard. Well, Jay going up top. And the Uso splash. Leg is hooked. Someone needs to help Brett Storm. Oh my god, he kicked up again. Jimmy uh dealing with Rose, but Jay up top again. And the Uso splash again to Brett. Oh my god, Kraft saved him there. It looked weird that actually he was able to break that up, but he got him. Super kick. Kraft's been busted open now. And a neck breaker on Rose. Hell is this breaking loose here. Sami Zayn. Looking to pick up the pieces here. And DDT planting Storm. Yep, Storm back up though. It's Storm. The clothesline. And tagging back in the monster. Oh boy. Got the scruff of the neck. For the third time this match, the coin toss to Sami Zayn. One. Two. And Jey Uso saving Sami. Oh, he's going for the coin toss again. And the Haluva kick. The Haluva kick to Madcap. Low blow on Jay, though. So needs to help Madcap, though. Can he reach the rope? Can he reach the rope? Oh, my God. He kicked up still. What a freaking war. Those clubbing shots. Are Rose and Jay still brawling out there? I don't hear them. Oh, there's Rose. The Haluva kick again. Haluva kick for the second time on Madcap. It, oh, he didn't get him. Sami Zayn has eliminated Madcap Thulu. Uh, Rose is the legal guy? The monster, oh my god. That, uh... 
Phenomenal Stormbreaker on Sammy. Jimmy Uso tagged in. It DDT on Rose. The monster, of course, the first man eliminated from this match, the biggest competitor and the biggest potential threat, possibly. He was doing so well when this match started. Rose up top. Hit. Nice counter there. Hit Rose. Arm drag. Nice sequence there. And tagging back in the Emperor. Went for the super kick. Didn't get it. This has been an amazing match. Again, if the, the Blood Hunters could win this, FTU seals the win for Invasion. And Neckbreaker. Alright, here we go. The Blood Brothers with a double team to Jey Uso. <clears throat> well, they're really uh, wearing down the right-hand man of the Bloodline. Didn't you win like the last two 4v4s you were in though, Kreth? Jay going up top. He already hit this a few times on Brett. And the Uso splash again to Brett Storm. Oh my god, Brett kicked up. The bloodline doing so well to try to protect the, the pinfall. I swim right, lose my first eight. That's fair. Oh, make it right. Yeah, Brett's being up resilient as hell. Oh, boy. Brett Storm's own submission. The Tequila Sunrise. Well, Kraft saving his, his partner. Hit. Well, tagging in Sami Zayn. Sami, of course, the only man who's eliminated someone so far. Look at Sami. That dive through the turnbuckle. Planting Storm. This is not looking good for FTU here. Not looking good for the Blood Hunters. Oh, what a head. Oh my god, what a nice sequence there. Sammy took his eyes off of Brett Storm and it cost him. Drop toe hold. Well, a double team again. Sammy and Jay working well together. Yeah, Rose probably is still the freshest guy in the match, which, I mean, he's not doing too well now, so it's a little concerning. The bloodline in control. Did you say Jay tags in? It's Jimmy. <clears throat> Maybe it said Jimmy. It just sounded like Jay. They're calling Jimmy now. <laughs> 
Samoan drop. Well, Jimmy going up. Brett trying to help Rose, but... Oh, boy. And clubbing shots to Jimmy Uso. The ref should really be trying to break that up, but... Oh, my God! He caught him with that code breaker midair on Jimmy Uso. One. Two. He, oh, my God, he kicked up. That was an amazing moment. Rose going up top now. Rose setting up Jimmy Uso. The bloodline didn't seem to help him. It double axe handle to the back. Jimmy crawling. Wrong corner, Jimmy. It tagging in Sammy. Oh my god. Is that considered a, a Luva kick right there? That big boot to Rose. And Sammy almost got another elimination. The the Blood Brothers didn't seem to help him there. In a camel clutch, but we're helping him now. Uh, Rose's finishers back in the day were the, the Phoenix Splash and um, the Knee Bar, to my knowledge. Oh, Jimmy going up top. He didn't learn, apparently. And <laughs> Jimmy making the same mistake. The same thing happened, pretty much. Except he didn't get a code breaker for it. Rose, flying arm drag. Tagging in Brett Storm. Well, elbow to the back. Brett not wasting any time. Doesn't want the same thing that happened to Jimmy to happen to him. Jay saves Jimmy. Brett Storm setting up Jimmy Uso. Rose needs to get out of the ring. Stormbreaker to Jimmy Uso. Hooking the leg here. And a spear on Jay. Look at Brett. Look at Brett go. Brett going up top. Jimmy back to a knee at least. It, oh my god, he caught him. Right in the uh, injured abdomen of Brett Storm. It's super kick gets countered. Here comes the Emperor. The Blood Hunters taking the fight to the bloodline. You would not think that they have a three on four disadvantage right now because how well they're doing right now. The soul kick on Jimmy Uso. Reigns, you need to help your cousin. Oh my God. It is three to three now. Jimmy Uso has been eliminated. And that rocket kick to Sammy. <laughs> well, Sammy, that snap suplex and a float over. Where the hell's Roman? Sammy and Krath, uh, of course, the only two in this match that have gotten an elimination so far. And that judo throw DDT on Sammy. That should do it. That should do it right there. Jay. And Jay saves Sammy Zayn. Immediately getting out. Very wise by Jay. Lion salt on Sammy. And 
The Blood Hunters in control right now. Going for the cover on Sammy again. I think it actually might be it. And Sammy still kicks up. The Bloodline was doing so well earlier. And big clothesline. Snap suplex. How long has Roman been down from that uh, that shoulder tackle from Storm? That was what knocked him down, right? And the Haluva kick to Storm. Up for the cover on Storm, but Rose and Kraft, they need to help him. Brett Storm has been eliminated. Sammy with two eliminations. Krath and Rose did not help Storm there. Sammy set out rear mat slam. Krath setting up Sammy. He's got him up. He's got him up. The soul kick. The soul kick to Sami Zayn. Everyone is down. One. Two. Sammy kicked up. How the hell did Sami Zayn kick up there? And a Michinuku driver. I was so sure he was out from that. Sami Zayn now is staring into the eyes of the Emperor. Oh my, oh my god, he did this to Brett Storm earlier too. Everyone's down, man. DDT on Krath. A dragon sleeper. Doesn't matter if he tapped. Well, he did tap, but that is not a, an elimination. He is outside the ring. Falls need to take place in the ring. Krath immediately dumping Sammy back to the outside. Tagging Rose back in. And Sammy, amazing move there. DDT planting Rose. Oh my god. Sami Zayn with another Haluva kick. How many times does he hit that kick this match? Hooking the leg on Rose. Kraft, you need to help your partner. Oh my god, he kicked up. Hit face first. And a big scoop slam there. Back suplex. They need to get the head of the table gone, and the other two will fall in line. Rose going up top. Look at Rose. Oh my god. That corkscrew moonsault. Jay still makes the save. Rose, one of the Original high flyers of FTU. This drop Jey Uso. Big brain buster. Yeah, Roman uh, does seem to be pretty fresh, which is weird because like a couple random bumps kept him down for a long time. It rose. Nice arm drag. Rose up top again. 
And that corkscrew moonsault again to Jey Uso. Rose needs to get Jey Uso out. Tie this up. Big neck breaker. Dropping those elbows on. Well, that was weird. He was totally like positioned to tag Jade, and he tagged Sammy. He's got to tag his uh, his real family first. Sammy Zayn. Well, DDT. Armbar, armbar, and Sami Zayn. Not a legal submission at this point. Well, Sami might be out. The Bloodline doing a good job of protecting their people, except Jimmy Uso. Well, Roman and Jay are both down. This is your guys' moment. Get Sammy out now. It's Sammy Zayn with another Haluva kick. It Krath makes the save. Let Sammy go, man. Sammy blew Thunderbomb to the Emperor. Sammy has been a, a Luva competitor tonight. That was the stupidest thing I've ever said. Rose up top. Rose up top. Here he goes. That moonsault. Oh my god, he didn't hit it. Big drop kick from Sammy. <laughs> Rose with that submission on Sammy. Any taps. Sammy Zayn is tapped out from Rose. It is two to two now. Well, the ref immediately looking to Roman Reigns, and so does Rose. It is two to two. <laughs> Sami Zayn had two eliminations. The six count. Roman trying to get back to his feet. Rose popping him with the kick as soon as he got in. Look at this. Flatliner. Oh boy. The Emperor versus the Chief. That judo throw DDT on Reigns. Will that do it? Help him, Jay. Oh my god, how close. Jay Uso with the save. Krath looking to put Reigns away again. He's got him up. He's got him up. The soul kick to Reigns. The soul kick connects. Center of the ring. One. Two. And Jay saves him again. Oh, went for a big stop. Didn't get it. Look at Reigns, though. Big clothesline on Rose. 
Drop kick. This has been an amazing match. Rain is taking a while to get back into the ring. It, oh. Nice sequence there. Both is blocking everything. Except that. He caught him. DDT on Reigns. Here comes Rose again. Can he make Reigns tap just like he made Reigns' cousin Sammy Uso tap? Well, for the cover. Is Reigns out? Is Reigns out? He was. Rose has eliminated Roman Reigns. It is down to Jey Uso versus Rose and Krath. I don't even know what got Reigns out. He was just apparently hurt. Jay's done. Jay is not showing any life here. Which, um, all they have to do is defeat Jay Uso and FTU as one invasion. DDT. Up in the leg here. Oh my god, he kicked up. Well, he got Jay up. Well, Jay with a counter. That was going to be it. Absolutely. Jay with a counter. Jay still fighting back here. And the Uso splash to the Emperor. Leg is hooked here. Rose needs to help him. Oh, my God. Jay. Oh, my God. Look at this. Jay throwing Rose to the outside. Jay Uso in control. Jay setting up Kraft here. Jay setting up Kraft. Super kick. Jay going up top again. Rose is out. Kraft is out. Body splash again. Center of the ring. One. Two. Jay got him. It is one on one. Jay Uso. One on one with Rose. What a freaking match. Rose may be out, though. It's clubbing away on Rose. Jey Uso in control. It, big flapjack. I feel like any, any move could really be it at this point. They've both gone through so much. Jay, looking to put Rose away. If this hits, it's over. Not going for the Uso splash, though. What's Jay doing? It, oh, my God. That high-risk move taking out Rose. I think that's it. One, two, the bloodline win. What a match. What a comeback for Jay Uso. All right, well, it's time for the Invasion main event. 
And it is technically six to six now. It's down to the main event. I'm not sure we should count. Um, I mean, I think I think we have to count Rey Mysterio beating Scubat now, just because I, I think we have to, just because this has been so close. I think we have to still count Rey Mysterio defeated Scubat because I was kind of, um, I wanted to have a rematch if it wasn't come down to it, but I think, um, I think yeah, I think we had to count it. So this is it. We have uh, Becky Lynch and Seth Rollins in a mixed tag match against the roulette champion, Thomas Payne, and the women's world champion, Cherry Blast. I'll take my camera down real quick so we can have a, a thumbnail if we need it. Yeah, Scubat could still have his match purely for FC, but Rey Mysterio did beat Scubat. We're counting that, so we need this win. Um, I'm not sure, Slim. We'll see how people are feeling. Um, I'm not sure yet. I think we have like um, probably a little under two hours left, so um, that I could stream potentially. So we might be able to do like ignition, but that'd probably be it. All right, well, place your bets here. This is the main event. Everything's riding on this last match. Place your bets. Come on, Thomas and Cherry.
Sexes tonight. Mixed tag action is underway. Ha. There's a big reversal by Seth Rollins. Oh, the face. He turns it around. These women have been chopping at the bit, and now they're about to throw down. Oh, here we go. Well, women already being tagged in here. Becky Lynch and FTU's uh, Women's World Champion. Uh, big back suplex. What's up, Thomas? Uh, we need you to win here. If you uh, if you lay your hands on Becky Lynch, we're gonna lose. So you, I swear to God, I'm kidding. I'm just kidding. Oh, uh, yeah, you can do that, Ash. Uh, it would just need to be um, used twice. Dragon suplex. <clears throat> I will delete Thomas if he hits Becky Lynch. I'm joking. Rollins going up top. And went for the Phoenix Splash. He got the knees up. And a stunner. A stunner on Seth Rollins. <laughs> Women get tagged back in here. Fisherman suplex. And Lynch. Big back suplex. Thank you, Lynch. That looked pretty funny. Long way to drag her, though. Clothesline. Cherry hasn't really gotten any offense in here, which is a shame. She had that freaking one of the best matches I've ever seen in FTU against Midori on Warzone. Well, Payne dumped to the outside. Again, this is the uh, main event for Invasion. It is tied. Six wins for WWE, six wins for FTU. This is the deciding factor here, but Rollins, oh my god! Well, Look like Rollins, like seriously, like broke his freaking neck, though. But Thomas Payne did a sympathy bump. 
That's a five count. Don't end this off count out. Not this. We have too much riding on this. Rip Cord knee. Get him back in the ring, please. Russ about to be at a seven count. All right, Rollins. Being good guy, Rollins. Does count out can have a rematch? No, unfortunately not. I don't think we could have a rematch if it's a count out. I think I think that'd be kind of kind of cheating. A big kick to the face. That's a good question, Brett. I mean, I guess it would, but maybe we'd have to go into overtime and have something on Warzone next week or something. A big drop kick there. Seth Rollins set up Thomas Payne. Look at this. And the curb stomp to Thomas Payne. Off in our pay-per-views, um, we probably do one every like three real life weeks. <laughs> Look at this, the man handles slam. Just dropping our world champion there. We have to go through three more calendar weeks though for the um, next pay-per-view, but the disarmer, the disarmer on Cherry, is she gonna is she gonna tap? Is she gonna tap? She just let her out? Well, just staying on the arm though. Come on, Sherry, we need you. Becky Lynch. In control. And Frankensteiner. No matter what happens, I feel like next year at Invasion, it's going to be a lot more intense because it was so freaking close this year. Look at this. Sherry Blast. And that split leg and moonsault leg is hooked. Thomas Payne chasing Rollins away. Lion salt. <laughs> Calling out Sean for a 1v1 a year in advance. <laughs> That'd be awesome though. I hope to see it. <clears throat> you should make that like a 15 minute Iron Man match or something too. Oh, Thomas Payne. Power bomb to Rollins to the outside. One, I was kind of hoping Flashbang would lose to the Undertaker, so next year I could have a rematch with him and make that like a hell in a cell or something. Ripcord clothesline. Thomas Payne, looking to put Rollins away here. The Red Baron, the Red Baron. He's put so many people away with that because foot reached the rope, cannot. Becky Lynch breaking it up. Becky Lynch just came out of nowhere too. What the hell was she doing down there? Yeah, that's pretty awesome, Brian. I was thinking about that too. Fight Andre the Giant. That'd be pretty sweet. Yeah, big German suplex on Rollins. The 
And this is clothesline. Well, Rollins has just been taken out of the match. Can Cherry put Becky Lynch away? Come on, Cherry. Look at this. The rose plant. Just drilling Becky Lynch. Now look at this. Exploder suplex. All right, Cherry needs to make the tag, even though... Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Payne, you have to save her. Payne, you have to... Okay, holy crap. She was able to grab the rope. I didn't even really think uh, she'd be able to grab the rope before this mission was actually applied. The man handle... Oh, actually, that's just a, like a pump handle throw or something, I think. Mid-section slam or something. That actually might be it, though. That might be it. No! No! Are you doing that one? Nah. Uh, that's how it works. Unfortunately, WWE won. I can't believe they lost. We lost all three of the last three matches. I guess I kind of jinxed it, but... Man. Damn, people with hella points in that match. Oh, boy. All right, Bimu Chan. You bet 40,000? Damn, Ash. I've already deleted Thomas before after nation. We're even now. Okay. Man. Rose was injured. That was the only thing new from this pay per view. Rose was injured. Should we do ignition? Or should uh should we do fall guys or something? Uh we definitely don't have time for adrenaline though too, so I don't know if do ignition. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, Cherry having back-to-back -back matches. <clears throat> I 
Mannix versus Lenny. Oh boy. Okay, who's here? Um, I actually have to do something real quick. I'm, um, I'm unpausing the uh, X Division Championship. And Ashley Mannix's North American Championship. If people want to challenge via points, you could do that now. <laughs> and uh, for ignition, uh, I mean, for, for the X Division Championship, male competitors from ignition can use points to challenge for the X Division Championship right now. <laughs> You want to switch brands? You need to lose the U.S. title first. <laughs> Who's got the X division? You do. <laughs> okay, I'm going to start setting up other matches, though. <clears throat> Okay. Yeah, I see. I see that, Bam. I'm just gonna be setting that up. We got two challenge matches. Damn, Eddie was down to an eighty-two. Uh, we're probably not going past um, ignition, Zach. And you're on uh, adrenaline. Okay. Um, I'll have to, uh, download your car, Conan. Um, once you've uploaded your car with the F2 tag and the, the, the proper, um, requirements, uh, we're gonna have you, uh, have you join the roster. <clears throat> we are gonna have a debut here, though. Actually, there was something else I have to have, too. I totally forgot I actually made no update notes. Um, I might still keep uh, one of these guys having a match. I do need to make a match, though. Which uh, I'm going to change this one, but I might still put either Crow or Django in a match. Are, are either of those two here?
What the hell is shield mode? <laughs> okay, who's here? That's on ignition. Hutchie's here. Uh, yeah, we'll probably have that on, um, on Warzone, Brett. <laughs> the Battle of the Bigs. I won't give myself a match tonight. Sad face. <laughs> right, we got two challenge matches here. I'm going to take the points right now for those two. <laughs> Because he's about to go to sleep. Uh, the two challenge matches are um, Bam versus JMJ and Lee Johnson versus Kino Sugiyami. Damn it, I meant to have a debut. <sighs> um. When Warzone happens, people that are on this card are going to be um, less uh, prioritized for Warzone. Just a heads up. Oh, shoot. Well, Hachi was supposed to have a challenge match, too, though. Ah, oh, screw it. We do have a, a, a lot of matches coming up that we need to have, though. Alrighty. Um... All right, well, Cherry and back to batch, back, back matches. It's gonna be one on one with Queen Javaya. Alrighty, place your bets here. The world champ versus the current reigning Queen of the Ring, which the Queen of the Ring tournament still is coming up, so uh, she's going to have to rel relinquish that Queen of the Ring trophy if um, she's not even in that tournament. She might be in the tournament. We'll, we'll have to see, but...
This woman is the real deal. DDT. Man, what a freaking pay-per-view that was, though. We had a couple uh, lame endings, but overall, that was like possibly that might have been like the best pay-per-view ever. Really, that was that was freaking awesome, and people got super into it. Already talking about next year's. I'm glad we uh, glad we did that. Pump handle gourd buster. On Queen Javaya. It's gonna be weird calling her uh just Javaya. <laughs> Assuming she even uh loses though, she might uh, end up being in the tournament. She might win again, who knows? We've had people win big tournaments two, even three years in a row. Well, Cherry doing a lot of damage to Queen Javaya right now. Apparently, she was able to reach the rope. I kind of call that uh, a bit questionable, but Moonsault did not connect. Oh my god, that was nice. Well, that arm bar. Cherry also utilizing that rope break. And that rack neck breaker on Cherry Blast. Cherry Blast uh, officially belonging to the uh, Adrenaline brand, but she is the reigning world champion. Her actual, uh, her current challenger is still uh, Angela Steiner. If 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 no one steps up and uses FC, that match is still going to happen. Oh, just stomping on her arm, but I did make uh, the decision uh, to uh, put those rivalries back into place because we shouldn't ever really be changing our booking plans just because the game having an error. That submission on Cherry, she might be tapping here. Well, Cherry still fights out.
Oh. What happened with what? A cherry here. The ALT. The ALT. And another dragon suplex. I'm the leg here. Up, oh, Queen Javaya went for that Frankensteiner, didn't get it. Well, let me know soon, FJ Nation. If once we get like two weeks away from the event, I'm kind of setting it in stone the match that we have set, but. Well, sweet chin music to Queen Javaya. Oh, went for a big drop kick, didn't get it. Um, I did make the decision also with, um, oh, hold on, ripcord knee to the face. Uh-oh. Look at this. The figure four. The figure four to the world champ. Will she tap? It, Cherry. She had extra reach on that one. But uh, with Taylor and Blackvale challenging BGS to a rivalry, I'm going to go ahead and end the, the rivalry with BGS and Clock, but there's that kick to the head of Cherry Blast. Leg is hooked. One. Two. And oh my god, how close was that? Uh, yeah, Brett is correct, FJ Nation. You do not relinquish your title. Um, you're, you're going to be defending uh, both titles, though, is all. Uh, the men's open challenge command is going to be disabled for now. We have we have a lot of uh, matches to have still, so um, until we kind of get to a point where we could we have room for extra matches, uh, that's going to be disabled for now. Was that supposed to be a rivalry? That was a challenge match. That wasn't a rivalry, right? I only saw one rivalry, and it's Talon versus BGS. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, tuning up the band again. Sweet Shin music hits again. Leg is hooked. And she got her. Cherry Blast defeats Queen Javaya. The world champ picking up a win. Alrighty. First challenge match of the stream. Winner gets one FC. Lee Johnson versus Kino Sugiyami.
we are getting to the point now where I'm actually having to really look at cause I do not want to delete, and I'm going to have to start deleting them because, um, I mean, I'm going to be using the Prestige leaderboards, you know, um, primarily. Um, but um, there are cause that we've kind of considered legacy cause to be on the roster, and I might have to start actually removing them too. And, um, yeah, it's going to be kind of a bummer, but we kind of need to do it to make room. But anyway, place your bets here. Lee Johnson versus Kino Sugiyami. Winner gets 1FC. Lamb from Kino to start this off. Uh, we have a lot of big matches coming up this week, though. Um, we have uh, Warzone's already like completely booked, pretty much. <clears throat> oh, 
on Warzone this week. We need to have um, both hardcore titles defended. Um, Scoobat versus Rey Mysterio. We're going to have a, a triple threat tag team match. And then one other match. I might give Zach versus Hutchie the other spot, but I honestly don't know yet. Actually, I think... Uh, how many matches does this count? Let's count three or four. Because there's supposed to be a triple threat match of the women's division on uh, Warzone as well. Yeah, actually, there's a lot of people to debut, too. We have, um, I think, uh, four people ready to debut other than Coden. So, well, Kino, the springboard frog splash on Lee Johnson. Almost got him there. Going up top. Kino. Big knee drop. Well, went for another big knee drop off the top rope. Did not connect. Um, I might be making a new rule, by the way, that you can't use challenge matches for people that aren't in the stream. Um... That's mainly because uh, I can't give a, a match to someone that's not here when we have people that are in stream waiting. I think it. I think I would need to make that a new rule. Oh, Lee Johnson! Look at this a vertebraker. Or maybe they don't have to be in stream if they if they're if like top if they're top twenty or something. If, if they have enough prestige to be like legit top twenty without with the bots removed, they don't need to be in stream. Well, taking the bull by the horns, looking to end this right now. Kino Sugiyami in trouble. Kino in trouble. Kino's not tapping. How long was he in that? And he's fighting out. Move your ass, ref. I need to, like, post rules as I kind of decide them, though. Not, not also, I mean, not, not just to let people know the rule, but to also remind myself of a rule that I made, because sometimes it's hard to even have consistency with remembering my general rules because I'm kind of making decisions on a case-by-case -case basis, which, you know, it's not a proper way to do it. I kind of need to look at past decisions I've made and stay consistent. Well, I think he was going for that muscle buster, but Kino counters... Look at Lee here. Powerbomb rebounding off the top rope and it's drilling Kino into the mat. And he got him. Lee Johnson wins the challenge match. Alright, well, Lee getting some more FC on the board. 
He uh, hasn't had any FC since he challenged for the Intercontinental Championship at Cyber Sunday. Big win, though, for one half of the tag champs. Yeah, I never did D, uh, DQ someone in Hell in a Cell. That's pretty funny. I was actually at that match, too. I'm sure people know that, but... I was at the Hell in a Cell that... I mean, he wasn't actually disqualified. I mean, uh, yeah, he wasn't disqualified. The match was stopped, right? I don't think he got disqualified. <laughs> The ref just called the match because it was getting too brutal. That was that was I think that was supposed to be what happened. <laughs> My laptop's being super laggy. My laptop Thulu. Alrighty, place your bets here, and uh, I think uh, we are going to officially start that ruling. Um, we're not going to allow specific challenge matches to take place unless the person's either in stream or they've been active in stream um, a lot lately. Um, and I'm meaning like, yeah, like top 20 sort of stuff uh, that I can quickly check their prestige is at. But um, yeah, place your bets here. Bam versus JMJ. This is a challenge match. Dragon Sleeper on Bam. 
I'll, uh, I'll probably try to just put that rule into the um, channel point point reward options. Excuse me. Um, Bam. Dropping JMJ on the back of his neck. JMJ did so damn well on that invasion rumble. Eliminating four competitors, including Bam. Is that is that why you challenged him, Bam? Bam definitely has KO vibes. Well, elbow drop. Didn't uh, didn't JMJ eliminate Bam? Flashy, you haven't heard. I haven't heard what. What didn't I hear? Well, Dominator on Bam. <laughs> All these other reasons. Oh, the pretty the word. Oh, uh, did uh, Bam officially make a group yet? Because um, actually we're going to start ch ch charging points to make a faction too. Um, although Bam's would be the, the last one that's free. Um, uh, it was mainly because we've had so many factions uh, be created and then disband before they even do anything. <laughs> and uh, that's just basically to put an end to that. Just just so if, if someone creates a faction they they want a real faction not like a, you know a flavor of the week faction well big shot to the face well for a move JMJ counters hit flatliner How do you guys think it would work if next year for uh, the Invasion Rumbles we uh, we randomize, completely randomize who is in the Rumble? Uh, I think me and Brett talked about it briefly, but I mean completely randomize it so like anyone on the, in, in the game could be one of the 15 competitors. I would actually still put them all as 85s though too. Combination of strikes to bam. That actually should be it right there. <laughs> Nothing like Doink the Clown winning the Invasion Rumble, though. <laughs> well, just laid out Bam. It, Bam still kicks up. Well, going for that curb stomp. And he got him. That's got to be it. Not going for the cover. Interesting. Did he just go for it again? Bam, counter whatever he's going for. Belly to belly. Caught him again. Another belly to belly. Look at Bam go. It power bomb. Shoulders are down here, but his foot, his foot hit the rope. And you're a nagi. Leg is hooked. No, you can't do that, Mannix. Unfortunately. And he got him. Bam defeats JMJ in the challenge match. It's 1FC for BAM.
All righty. All right, Krath. Get some sleep, buddy. Thanks for hanging out so late, man. And uh, thanks, Brett, for updating those commands, man. Mucho apreciado. Um, congrats to Bam winning his first challenge match. <laughs> All right, earlier tonight, Big Hutchie's partner, Lee Johnson, did get a win in his challenge match against uh, Kino Sugiyami. This is just a standard uh, exhibition, though. Big Cheese versus one half of the Undisputed Tag Team Champions. Um, we are going to be figuring out who is going to be facing the Undisputed Tag Team Champions for the tag titles um, within the next, um, next two weeks. So... Um, Right now, though, um, the uh, the Golden Hearts are one win away from getting a tag title shot. But uh, place your bets here. Big Cheese versus Big Hutchie.
Oh, big Hutchie. Start enough strong, but big cheese. Get in some offense now. Oh, the sneeze going on. Oh, look at this, that dragon sleeper. How the hell can you possibly do that to Big Hutchie? I don't care who the hell you are. I feel like you would just destroy your back by trying to do that to him. Oh, big face buster. The uh, bullpen dojo did uh, unfortunately not get the job done against DX in that table match, but bullpen dojo started off strong with Lee Johnson getting a big win. All three members of, of the the dojo in one-on-one -on -one action here tonight. Oh wow, those power bombs! Oh my God. Dumping cheese to the outside. I need to start posting my actual uh, match plans on Discord, like all my match plans, so um, so people don't request other matches being made. Because I always want to give people what matches they want, but. Um, I feel like sometimes they're actually talking themselves out of an opportunity to. Um, because uh, the matches that I'm making based off of prestige and stuff, they're, they're usually for like title shots and stuff. Well, went for a big shot. Hutchie stopped him. Snake eyes. I feel like he didn't even try to aim for him there. <laughs> well, who'd you are? Armbar. Willie Tap, center of the ring. Oh, Hachi. Oh, my God. Well, look at this. Oh, hanging him up on the top rope. Hachi in trouble. That surfboard curb stomp. Well, that do it. And Hachi still kicks up. May have um, bought Hachi enough time. Okay, thanks, Brett. I'll uh, 
I'll have to start using that, like, tonight. Well, Hutchie, that clothesline, taking off his head there. It kick up again. I thought he did the stunner. I kind of looked back at a weird time. He got him an arm breaker. Northern Light suplex with the wrist clutched. And uh oh. The stomped on his face. He's been busted open now. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? That knee to the face to Hutchie. Get him away from those ropes. Will that do it? This would be a huge win. Did he beat him? One, two, huge win for Big Cheese. All right, well, big win there for Big Cheese, knocking off one half of the Undisputed Tag Team Champions and actually the reigning X Division Champion. If uh, if um, that title's on the line, we would have just crowned a new champ. But um, people can still use channel points to challenge for the X Division Championship for uh, male competitors on Ignition anyways. All right, we got a triple threat match here. The winner will face Midori for the Impact Championship next week. So, best of luck to all three women. Place your bets, folks. Winner faces Midori next week for the Impact Championship.
All right, here we go. Um, Slim, so are you, um, are you not interested in going for the tag titles with Q Money then? Since you're trying to go to Ignition? Because I did still have you on the books to, uh, be in the running for a tag title shot. Well, that was interesting. Amaya taking down both of, uh, her opponents. A triple threat cage match. Counter there. Shoulders down here. You can win via pinfall, submission, or escaping the cage. First fall or escape to a finish. Well, Amaya trying to get out. Strikes. Respect with the raid. Thanks for the raid. Respect. How was your stream, buddy? Haven't had a raid in a bit. that not work? Oh, I put the wrong thing. Can't go for the tag titles just yet? Okay. Well, oh my god! That destroyer on Akira Blade! Stream's been going pretty good. What, what, what did you do on your stream, buddy? Were you doing 2K22 as well? Oh my god! Amaya just launched into the steel cage. Very cool, buddy. Yeah, we do have a Discord, though, if you end up uh, wanting to join. Oh. We've got a bunch of stuff in there. And also, you could even promote your own streams in the self-promo section. Oh, big slam there from Mason. All three of these women won a one-on-one -on -one match to, uh, to get to this point. And look at this, Akira Blade, that kick to the side ahead of Mason Suzuki. Akira Blade trying to get out. Amaya stopping her. Uh, yeah, I answered my Discord messages. Oh my god, low drop kick. Akira Blade. Look at this. That that half crab. Will she tap? Well, Amaya back up, breaks up the submission. Okay, sounds good, respect. Thanks for the raid, buddy. And I hope to see you around. Well, Akira Blade. All alone here. Amaya and Mason both trying to catch her. Got to get up there. Akira Blade's almost out. She's almost out. Oh, my God. Look at this shot. Well, Amaya falling off the cage. This would be a great time for uh, Amaya to have actually just climbed out while they were fighting. 
Wow, they're both trying to escape. All three women are trying to escape right now. All three women up on top of the cage. Are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding me? Oh, she stopped Mason. Akira Blade stopped Mason here. Well, Amaya... Amaya escaping while they're still fighting up there. Oh, wow. What a weird ending. Amaya versus Midori next week for the Impact Championship. Thank <laughs> you. 